Greetings, human. Welcome to Cantankerous Cats. Begin by placing the scorecard, cat tokens, and cat toy in the center of the play area. Shuffle all of the playing cards together, then place them next to the scorecard, forming the food bowl. Place the turn indicator on the opposite side, then place the pounce tokens below the turn indicator. There should be one for each player, plus two. Finally, distribute the cat cards to all players at the table. After you've set up the game, each player will draw six cards from the food bowl. These cards do not have to be from the top of the deck, but you mustn't look at them until all players have completed taking their six cards. When you are finished, there will be a bid for the first bite of the food bowl. To determine the first player, you will bid a card from your hand according to its rank. If you look at the bottom left corner of a card, you will see a number. This is the rank of the card. Before placing your bid, examine the bottom of the turn indicator. This will tell you if high or low cards win the opening bid. Each player will place a card face down in front of them as their bid. When all players have completed this task, reveal the cards and compare their rank. In this example, the player on the right with the highest ranking card will take the first bite of the food bowl. Place all of these cards below the food bowl, forming the litter box. At the start of your turn, wake up and eat three cards from the food bowl. Place these cards into your hand, then take two of the following actions. Option A, bank one affection card. Affection is the currency that allows you to score mischief points. The value of an affection card is noted with a number of hearts near the top of the card. This particular card is worth two affection points. Affection cards are placed in front of you and remain there until they are spent. Their primary function is to allow you to take the next action in this list. Option B, score one mischief card. Mischief cards are the only way to score points in Cantankerous Cats. There are two values on a mischief card. The cost of a mischief card is shown near the bottom of the card. This is the amount of affection you must remove from your house to score this card. Affection is always moved from your house to the litter box when you pay for mischief cards. Mischief points are displayed near the top of the card. The number of paws indicate the number of spaces you must advance your cat token on the scorecard. The first cat to score nine mischief points will be declared the winner of the game. Option C, play one incident card. Incident cards are special abilities that bend the rules of the game. Use them to thwart your opponents or swing the odds of the game in your favor. Incident cards do not cost any affection to play. Simply follow the instructions at the bottom of the card, then place that card into the litter box. Option D, be a picky eater. If you are unhappy with your hand of cards, you may place all of your cards into the litter box, then draw an equal amount of cards from the food bowl. This is also useful for searching the food bowl for cards that may be more beneficial to your future machinations. Option E, purchase one pounce token. As one of your actions, you may purchase an additional token from the bank by placing any two cards from your hand into the litter box. There is no limit to the number of tokens you may possess, as long as there are tokens in the bank to purchase. Now that we have gone over the action list, we can proceed with a sample turn. In this example, the player will use his first action to bank one affection card worth two affection points. His second action will be to score one mischief card to gain two mischief points. After he moves his cat token, he will discard the required affection into the litter box. Not so fast. Before you pass the cat toy, you must groom your hand to exactly five cards. Discard or draw up to meet that number. Then pass the cat toy to the following player with a hearty meow. If you wish to play a simple game with very young or casual players, you may continue playing with these basic rules until one cat scores their ninth mischief point 
If you would like to continue learning the standard rules, simply follow this link to the second chapter of our tutorial series. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy your copy of Cantankerous Cats.